Stay tuned for the latest in high-tech tackle and game-changing lures for your four-season fishing success. This is your Angling Connection, the pro's choice. Well, what I've learned a long time ago is that these bladed jigs like the Thunder Cricket are really effective for not only catching largemouth, but smallmouth too. Um, this is a brand new one. This is a three quarter ounce size. It's real heavy. So with that blade on the front, they have a lot of lift. And before, you know, it was primarily a bait that I would throw in shallower water and, and especially around vegetation. So this is the same thing, but it's a bait that I can throw a little deeper now because it's that heavier size. I, I can get it down. The vibration that it gives off in the flash, I put a little uh, rage swimmer on the back of it, a little um, 325 rage swimmer. There's a lot of bait fish right now, so this is something I can cast out there and fish through the center of the water column and the vibration that it has, it just, it really has a lot of drawing power and, and catches a lot of fish. So, you know, I'll use a lot of different colors. Let me show you here. Uh, you know, here's a bluegill colored one. Uh, this is also one of my favorites up here too. It's, it looks like a perch or a bluegill, even a crawfish. You can run this, cast it out there, let it sink, and just crawl it along, you know, just above the bottom. And it's just really effective at catching big fish. Now, the one thing I'll tell you about these baits is they catch bigger than average size fish. So as a tournament fisherman, that's something that we're always looking for and, and, and thinking about. So uh, I, I just know how awesome these baits can be. And they, they're fun to fish too. I mean, when you cast one out there, you know, like this, I'm letting it sink down a little bit and I'm just kind of slow on along. It just has a great feel to it. You can, um, you know, get that bait down by, uh, by the grass and then rip it out a little bit. And that's, that's one of the keys. So just casting this thing out and reeling it back to the boat is not the way you want to fish it. You want to twitch it. You want to shake it a little bit. Um, that's why if you're fishing it in grass, you're kind of, it's doing that for you. But if you're not, if you, like here, if it's real sparse like it is here, I want to, you know, I want to make it change up the action a little bit with it, and, and they'll 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 home in on this thing. A lot of times they'll start following it, and when you do that, when you stop it or start it real quick, they'll react to it and bite it. You know, ours does not have a fixed eye. Most of the bladed jigs out there is just a jig that they attach a blade to, um, and and they're designed to ride high and. They're really effective for shallow water, and guys kind of think it is that is the only bait. But this one, if you look real close, you can see that the, the eyelet actually moves up and down, and that allows that bait um, to have a lower center of gravity and to hold its depth a little bit better. So in, compared to other baits in the same category for the same weight, these baits run deeper and stay deeper than the other ones you know, out there. So in a situation like this, we just never thought of it. It's, it's about like the same scenario as with swim baits. You know, when, when swim baits first came out uh, in California, they were all big tennis shoes. You reel them just real slow and up by the surface. And since then, swim baits have been totally redesigned. There's all different sizes. There's, you know, there's some that are built for deep water, shallow water, everything different wider paddle and that's the same thing we've seen with bladed jigs is that uh, you know as we got to fish them more and that we've learned a lot more about them and they're a lot more versatile and we've got versions now for deeper water and uh, you know different colors and things like that different styles for for different situations and that's what what uh, competitive anglers like to do is they tinker with things and they figure out that hey man this thing works really good for a largemouth in the grass well what what are what smallmouth going to think about it what's a spotted bass going to going to do with it and they definitely all like them so I, I've had a lot of success with them uh, you know they're they're tremendous baits you just gotta you know have the, the scenario where the fish are in that zone uh, to, to form to be real effective so stay tuned as Strike King Pros goes in depth with our new series tips tactics and tackle how to videos you don't want to miss Brought to you by Small Waters Outdoors and Gettin' Bit Productions.